Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Jim Witham from GAN Systems. We often hear gallium nitride transistors compared with silicon transistors, but we don't quite as often hear gallium nit nitride transistors compared with silicon carbide devices. And that's what we have here behind us. Jim, you did a DC to DC converter using both technologies. What'd you find out? So, what we did is we wanted to lead to take a really good example. We had apples to apples. It was a fair comparison where we did kind of everything right. The best layout, the same board, and make a fair comparison. So we took our daughter cord design, which has a half bridge of GAN transistors, 650 volt transistors, with the drivers and all the associated electronics to make it work. And then we reproduced that same board in silicon carbide. Then we could do a side-by-side apples-to-apples comparison. And when we did that, the GAN devices are more efficient than the silicon carbide devices. But um, maybe even more importantly, the GAN devices run at a lot cooler temperature than the silicon carbide devices do. That lower temperature can buy you one of two things. One is it can have a lot longer lifetime on your electronic system because cooler electronics last longer. Or if you want to push the limits, you can do twice as much power and push, it, push the temperatures up to the same uh, levels of the silicon carbide. So what we've done here with this half bridge experiment is show GAN versus silicon carbide and at 650 volt and a half bridge application, uh, GAN wins, hands down. Both these boards will handle 650 volts? Yeah. And what kind of current levels are we talking about? Ooh, um, we're using our 08 devices, which are 30 amp devices. So um, they're probably running this test at about 15 amps. Using 30 amp devices would be typical for this type of application. Well, that's a pretty interesting result. I think a lot of engineers are, would be surprised by it. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, I think, you know, silicon carbide is a good transistor, um, and it has its place typically in high voltage applications. But uh, in areas where there are GAN transistors, we have 650 volt and 100 volt devices. The figure of merit of the GAN devices is so much superior that you see these types of results when you do the head-to-head -head test. Great, thanks, Jim. Sure.